<laughs> Hello, my name is Jasper, and I am addicted to coke. Hello, my name is Jasper, and I'm no longer a Gymshark athlete. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, completely different video. Yes, the title is true. I am no longer a Gymshark athlete. <laughs> and I wanna go in detail a little bit more about why that is and how everything happened because uh, you guys know Gymshark has been a part of my channel for since the beginning pretty much. So a lot of you guys know me um, as I'm with working with Gymshark, either as an affiliate, an academy member, or as an athlete. It's a little bit strange to say that I'm no longer working with Gymshark at all. Like I'm completely not working with them anymore. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I started working with Gymshark in June of 2016. No, no, 2015, June 2015. Three years ago, I started working with Gymshark um, as an affiliate. So that means uh, you get uh, a link and uh, back then there was a discount code. And um, through the link, if you guys bought through the link, I'll get a commission and you'll get 10% and I get 10%. Uh, that's pretty much how they did it. I, I did that for like an hour, a year and a half. Then they changed a lot of things and then they came the Gymshark Academy. And the Gymshark Academy was pretty much the same thing as an affiliate. Academy was like upcoming uh, athletes pretty much. So I did that. Same thing applies. The discount codes were gone, but they still have a link and I'll still get paid on commission. And then um, six months ago, my Academy contract ended and it was either like you're out or you're gonna be an athlete. They made me an athlete, something that I've been working for for years. I mean, since the beginning, the, the thing was, you didn't get a salary, you just got commission and you got free clothing. You knew you could grow within the company and become an athlete. So my contract, my athlete contract was six months and it ended in March 1st. So I had a call with my athlete manager a couple weeks prior to the end date of the contract. He's like, okay, uh, your contract is gonna be ending uh, at the end of the month. So we have to talk about that, how we're gonna move forward. It's always guessing, you know, hopefully they, they renew it and um, hopefully you did well. Um, and I always, uh, I always did well on the link with sales and all that. Um, so I'm really happy. Um, I, I'm, feel, I'm feeling okay. A little hesitant, maybe they they don't want to renew me. I don't know. Um, so I asked him. I was like straight up, because you know I'm pretty good homies with the guy. Um, I asked him straight up, am, am I okay? Like, is there something to worry about for me? He's like, no, no, you're all good. And um, then the past Monday, so today's Saturday. A uh, past Monday, uh, when I flew back from Poland, I came home. Had the call with him and he's like, yo, so about your contract, uh, it's going to be a shitty call. Um, unfortunately, we're going to not, not renew your contract. It was kind of a shock to me because he said earlier that it was okay and it was all that good. Um, but yeah, they decided to release me, unfortunately. And um, yeah, I'm not working with Gymshark anymore, which sounds so strange to say for me since it's almost been three years. So obviously you're waiting for my opinion on it. Maybe hope, hope for me to like stir up a little bit thing, uh, say something controversial. Um, first of all, I love Gymshark and I love the people behind it. I loved seeing the growth of the company and being able to work with those people and maybe not at the forefront of it all. Um, it was great to see it all happen and I really cherished that time with Gymshark. After three years, uh, I never got posted on the page. I never really got anything else than two times a Snapchat takeover. I really didn't get anything else to do for Gymshark uh, that really could help me to a different level. I'm not saying I need the, the help um, and I blame not my growth of my channels or the lack of it uh, for not getting the help that I deserve. But um, in the three years, I didn't really get a chance to sh you know, show the main Gymshark audience who I was and what I was about. Um, yes, I did blogs, and uh, but I don't believe the blogs are, um, you know, get that many numbers other than the videos. Um, of, of actually reading time. I never really got any tweets about them or any comments on my videos. So I don't think there's that many things going on with the blogs, but it was fun to do. But I was always like super initiative with things that I wanted to do. So um, with, when doing blogs, I, I wrote like five and, and then uh, I wanted to do video projects and I had calls with them about videos and I had calls about um, other stuff that I wanted to do or pictures. I, I was taking pictures all the time and sending them off to them or stories or, you know, with all the new releases. When, when the new releases came out, I made a video on it. I made Instagram stories. You know, I did all those things to try to be on the good side of Gymshark and 
show like, hey, I, would, I really want to push this because I love it and I, I want to be there for the, for the company in the way that I can do. And I never really thought it was picked up that well by them. Um, obviously, I'm not David Laid, I'm not Steve Cook, and that's a reality, and I understand that. Um, but you got to start somewhere, you know, so, um, you know, it's a little bit, I don't want to say sad, it's like, it's a shame that I didn't really get the chance to really show who I was on the, in the main Gymshark space. But yeah, that's that, man. I can't really do anything about that. The thing that I'm really proud of, and still I'm really proud of, is the, that I'm the first Dutch person in Gymshark ever. Um, and I was, for a very long time, the only one. Uh, we got, they, oh, they got another athlete now. Her name is Sophie, and she's also Dutch. Um, so she is the only Dutch person at Gymshark right now. Um, I was the first ever, which is, you know, if Gymshark grows to a company that big, um, I can still s say that, that I did that, uh, which is pretty cool, I think. And, um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, it's just like, it's very unfortunate. Um, but at the same time, it might be a good thing, you know, because I wasn't getting the opportunity to become a little bit better and uh, I wasn't getting the opportunity to grow with Gymshark as much. Uh, maybe it's for the better if I find uh, a different company that I also would really love and really enjoy and really support and work with them. Uh, and hopefully I can work with them on a bigger scale than I did with Gymshark because I feel like it was not like Gymshark was holding me back, but it, they weren't showing me any opportunity to do something either. So um, obviously it's go it goes both sides. Obviously I was always very initiative with things. So um, yeah, so I, I, there was not that many opportunity for me because I, I'm not that big and obviously they didn't want to focus on me at all. Um, you know, makes sense. I don't blame them. It's not like I blame Gymshark for the decision at all. Um, you know, obviously after three years, you have some credit build up, I feel like, but um, it doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe it does. I don't know. So the only thing that I'm really not mad about was like, like it doesn't really make sense and it's like it, it's not it's not okay is the reason that they gave me for not renewing my contract like i wouldn't be mad if they would tell me like yo jesper uh your page are not really growing and uh, you know we don't really believe in you anymore i mean if they would say that that's straight up and that's honest like i, I wouldn't mind uh it makes sense but they were saying uh, we want to invest in other avenues which is a super vague random thing to say um especially after three years of working with each other like you're not gonna just say like, oh, we want to like, it's not personal, but like, we don't want to invest in you anymore. So uh, yeah, we want to invest in other avenues, whatever that means. I don't know, but they really give me, they really didn't give me another reason. Like, oh, you're not doing that well, or um, we don't believe in you anymore, or whatever, or like straight up, your page is not growing, bro. Um, yeah, it's it's not too much. Like, or we want to focus on big athletes only. Okay. You know, I, I like it makes sense for me. Like I understand business and I understand why people make decisions, but at least give me a good reason. After three years of, you know, I've made Gymshark so much money that by selling clothing through my link, there's still a lot of things that I did for them. And to, you know, at least give me a reason why Q to kick me, you know? Uh, but that's the only thing pretty much. Like I love Gymshark, I love the people still. I, like, I'm not mad at them, I'm not, like I don't hate them at all. I still love the products. Um, I have a ton of it, so I don't know what to do with it. Um, probably gonna give away a lot to friends and stuff um, if they want it. But yeah, hopefully this gives me um, opportunity to do other things with other companies. And um, yeah, hopefully this this might be a good thing for me. You know, this might be a good thing. I was a little bit stale on the growth. Maybe this gives me opportunity to grow even more um, with a company that supports me a little bit more because they can. Um, or they can focus a little bit more on me personally. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to tell you guys that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Jesus, up.